Hi, welcome back. I'm Kevin Ryan, and for our second part of ICS 340 Online Labs for the RTD Lab, we will be wiring up the transmitter to a 24 volt supply. Now, keep in mind, we always hook up our transmitter with no power active at any time until we've completed the series loop. So, if we take our red and black leads, red being our positive, black being our negative wires, and wire them to our power supply, then to a multimeter, out of the multimeter back to our power supply, we will have one complete series loop. So, we'll start by putting the red wire into our power supply, our black wire into the milliamp measuring port of our multimeter, out of our multimeter back to our power supply. Now this is one complete series loop and what we're going to be measuring here is a 4 to 20 milliamp output from our RTD resistance input. For our next step we're going to connect our RTD to the transmitter. Now through these ports right here it is wired right through the back plane to our transmitter which is a rose mount 644 alpha line temperature transmitter. It's wired internally for a three wire RTD. This temperature transmitter will compensate for our wire resistance. So, if we connect a red wire up to the first port, the two white and silver wires to our other two ports. Now, finally, our, our transmitter is connected through a series loop, and our source, which is an RTD, will be connected to the transmitter. We'll put on our power supply and wait to see what kind of milliamp output we will have. Now we scale our, our transmitter, our lower range and upper range value will be 0 and 100 degrees Celsius for 4 to 20 milliamps. So that means at 0 degrees Celsius it should be 4 milliamps. At 100 degrees Celsius it should be 20 milliamps. Now currently I've taken the, the steps to heat up the water to around 100 degrees Celsius. So currently at 100 degrees Celsius we are reading 19.28 milliamps. Now we should be roughly around 20 milliamps, so I want to make sure that we are accounting for any sources of error right now, whether or not the thermal well is really at 100 degrees Celsius, or go through a list of possibilities of errors for this experiment. Now, we will record our step here and decrease our temperature by 10 degrees. So at 90.1 degrees Celsius, we are reading 17.50 milliamps. Decrease it again down to 80 degrees Celsius and take another reading.
At 80 degrees Celsius, we are reading 16.275 milliamps. At 70 degrees Celsius, we are reading 15.205 milliamps. At 60 degrees Celsius, we are reading 13.30 milliamps. <laughs> now 50 degrees Celsius is our half waypoint, and between 4 and 20 milliamps, we should be looking for around 12 milliamps. <laughs> 